What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RobotPanda15, here, bringing you another Valkyria Chronicles episode. Episode 3 today. Let's get right on into it, though. And we are on Chapter 2, Escape from Brule. So last we left off, uh, Welkin... Yep, I could go a page back. Welkin and, um... Welkin and Alicia had survived an attack from the Empire at Brule, and they were faced with a tank and had to evade the tank, and then they ended up splitting off. Alicia's going to go defend the main gate, and Welkin's going to go pick up Martha and his sister Isara, and looks like there's going to be some conflict. Isara, Martha, please be okay. Martha! Did you shoot her? What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Stop this now! See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. Then that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! <laughs> Die! <laughs> Dark son pig! <laughs> Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. <laughs> Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. Left us something, eh? I wonder what it could be by this clearly spoiling outline of what this episode has right here. Dad's tank. Whoa. I can't believe it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power-to-weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field-worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work... What's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school. Once. We'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank, and we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. But who's gonna do the loading, and who's gonna be the gunner? She doing Sorry. literally all that? You ready to roll? Engaging engine. 
The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Alicia could still be out there dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out! And here we go. Chapter 2, Escape from Brule. And this is the combat scenario on this one. So let's play it and get ready to rock. Here's the brief for this operation. <clears throat> Alicia thinks she's going to be given the brief, but... Brief? Brief. But uh, she doesn't know yours truly is here. <clears throat> here we go. The enemy is a squad centered around a single tank, currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuating townspeople will be in danger. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out that tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous, the Brule Town Watch will do everything we can to keep that gate in one piece. The town watch will need to hold off the enemy forces until you arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point at, and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Alright, victory condition is that the enemy tank is destroyed and our lose condition, of course, Welkin or Alicia dies. 20 turns pass, but if Brule's main gate is destroyed, we do lose. Right, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. Let us begin. If this gate falls, Battle music in this game is awesome. Casualties among the townspeople. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, your unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. When focusing on defense or ending one's turn, it is always best to use this form. <laughs> I'm not going to say hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. It, its explosive power can destroy sandbags. Uh, Alicia possesses some grenades. Do anyone else? Does anyone else possess grenades? Units will recover one grenade. Okay. So we can use one per turn without hampering our abilities. Oops. I didn't want to use him, but oh well. Alright, so we got some tall grass here, so let's actually use this to our advantage. can do is have him chill out here in the grass so he'll be well hidden and he'll be able to ambush any enemies and we'll get a pincer movement going on any enemies that cross on this right on that right side there to the right of that town watchman because there's most likely enemies on that right side all right where's Alicia there she is I'm gonna get her in the watchtower let's see can we get some shots in on him 22 or 6. That's not looking good. 16. Ooh, no, oh, that's because he's a shock trooper. That's a new unit class that we haven't seen yet. Alright, let's go for the headshots on this guy. Ooh, nice. Okay, yep, now from this perspective, we can see that scout over there on the right that I was talking about earlier. So if any units try to cross, cro try to cross that right side, We'll have some crossfire to deal with them. All right, we just gotta hold out till Welkin's tank arrives. Hopefully, it does soon. Hmm. 
go. Stop him before he gets there. This is why the scouts are awesome, because they just volume of crossfire they can put on in. Is he gonna crouch that? Yep, he is. Ooh, Alicia with the evasion there. Nice. I'm gonna have to destroy that sandbag though. Yeah, you're not gonna get very far, dude. Alright, that's one of their CP gone, so that's less turns they can use to move anything. But it looks like they're not going to do anything else there. Alright, so Ragnade um, helps with healing. It's basically a med kit, so to speak. So it'll help out a lot with that. When it comes to our healing, but we should be okay. Uh, I'm going to use Alicia to destroy that sat. Wow. That was almost ugly, that saying there. Alicia can destroy that sandbag, probably kill... Shock Trooper, hopefully. Yep, there it is. Alright, and then we'll actually do something about this tank here next turn. But I'm going to keep her in the Watchtower for now. She's providing really good Overwatch for the situation. We're going to retreat our Town Watchman that's over here. And finish that guy off. There we go. All right, so that's that. Now let's keep up the work. These guys do not have, um, uh, what the fuck is it called? They don't have uh, grenades, unfortunately, so the only person we have that can deal with this tank is Alicia. And I think it's only gonna take two or three more hits. So we need Welkin's tank here ASAP. Okay, they're going to use another CP on him. Ooh, that machine gun fire might take out Alicia. Never mind, we're going to kill him. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, here come more enemies. That guy's dead, yeah. They are not going to be able to cross that street. The only thing really that's going to do damage to the... Uh, town gate is the yes welcome has arrived okay is the tank the tank is the only thing that's going to do damage all right here comes the edelweiss da, 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 da. the tank should be able to breach that wall it may provide us with a shortcut box all right let's give it a shot hang in there alicia now tanks use two cp uh to move kind of to define that uh, role of they are a force multiplier uh, but they do not uh, recover HP at all so you got to be careful with their health health and they also require AP to turn so just turning like that uses the AP you kind of want to keep them in a straight line as much as possible but it's a tank it's a galleon tank Alicia Sorry, we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. All right, let's go take it down. And just like in real warfare, uh, tanks in this game cannot take hits to the rear second all right so we have anti-armor shells which are good against other armor mortars which are good against enemies that are hunkered down in sandbags and the machine gun is really good for uh, dealing with enemies that are close range yeah so we're actually gonna switch it up here to the LMG where's that scout at One shot to kill or four shots to kill? We'll, we'll aim for the one. There we go. We actually had two headshots in on that. So we killed that guy. They lose some CP there. So the body and the treads. Uh, if you take out their tread HP, it lessens the uh, a AP that the tank can use. So it lessens the tank's mobility, basically. 
So basically, one shot from a from this main cannon onto that ragnite, that under that blowing, blowing, that glowing blue uh, thing at the rear of a tank will take it out. So we're gonna push right up into it here, and you guys are about to see just how inaccurate tanks are. So see how I have that kind of pretty much in the circle. Oh wow, I just hit it. I hit it directly on. I'm very proud of myself for that. Here we go. But uh, we're gonna keep using AP on the tank here. Usually you'll miss though. That's that's the sad part of these tanks. You'll miss a lot of shots. No. There we go. That's a tank down. And that is a win. Now these episodes are gonna be a lot longer in the future, especially yes. the next couple of them will be super long. Yeah, next episode is gonna be really long because that battle is really hard. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks, Welks, it's a boy. Martha had a boy. She gave birth in Dad's tank. Yuck! How disgusting is that? Yes, and without complications, they're both perfectly healthy. Good. That's fantastic. So Alicia, Alicia got her wish. New life was made in all that bloodshed. It's kind of heart touching if you think about it. But yeah, A rank on that one only took three turns. We destroyed one light tank, two enemy leaders as well. So we gained a little bit of our duct, which is the value on the right that you see there, that DCT next to the EXP. Uh, so we gained some more duct for that. I think it's duct. I don't know how to fucking say it. I don't know what the money is in this game. But we got a new episode added. So let's watch that one. Now you see the carnage of warfare. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, they'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, that's your hometown. Someday. We'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter 3. 
Vassal Urban Warfare. All right, sorry about that. My mic wasn't working there. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Either way, Panda, check in out.